How's it going fellow Titans? Welcome to a brand new Titans Season 3 update video if you will because today there's quite a few set of photos that give us a lot of nods towards Red Hood. What's going on with the Titans next season? So yeah, we're going to speculate a bunch about all of these juicy set photos that I would love for you guys to get involved with your various theories down in the comments below. But also we have some updates on other things such as the release date which I want to cover. So before we go over all of this guys, go ahead and like this video if you do go on to enjoy it. Make sure you check out the top pin comment in the comment section down below to check out links to my social media, my Discord server where you can talk more about this Titan stuff with me personally. And hey, hit the join button on the channel if you want to support the channel even further. But let's get into this. So first of all, I want to start off on the release date. Before we get into all the juicy and really juicy set photos, because some of them even have me a little bit confused as to what could be going on, and I can't wait to start theorizing about it already. But as for the release date, we've speculated about it before on this channel, and I'm sure many of you within the community know of the Vulcan Reporter or Bullion, but he has it on good information that the third season is currently targeting a July 15th premiere. Now, I do want to say take it with a grain of salt just in case but I'm pretty confident about this because we were talking about it as I said in previous breakdowns and when we were looking at the months ahead in 2021 July didn't sound like a far-fetched date at all in fact why would they wait for September as well which is kind of a usual release date for DC Universe's Titan season 1 and 2 or October for that matter when like this started filming quite a while ago now they've been filming for a long 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 time so July really does sound to be piping up to be the the right date. It says July 15th here. Of course, that is always subject to change. If it doesn't actually turn out to be the 15th, it could have also been changed. But as for it to go outside of July, I would be surprised if it did that. So I would say mark on your calendars. Not confirmed, 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 but July is looking like a very, 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 very likely release date for Titan Season 3. And it could look, and I really hope they're not going to do this, that they might release the first three episodes on HBO Max and then, you know, roll out episode four one week and then another week, episode five, so on, so forth. Now, that's a nightmare for me. I prefer weekly breakdowns. <laughs> Obviously, I'm biased there, so uh, reviewing and breaking down three episodes at once would be quite the heavy dose, but, you know, I'll do that if I have to do that. But I'd love to know what you guys think of a July 15th or just a July in general release date for Titans Season 3. We also have episode names, and I'll get to those in a little bit because we could speculate about those but I want to get straight onto the Toronto filming Twitter page where they have taken quite a few photos themselves of some really really big clues for season three that paint a larger picture for the storyline to do with Red Hood what's going on with the Titans in Gotham we also have to bear in mind that Barbara Gordon is the commissioner of Gotham City now so like when you take that into account and you look at some of these photos it's like man what the heck is going on so I'm not really sure where to begin because there's lots of things that I can say all at once and there's lots of little tidbits that I've taken off that I think you could miss so this is kind of like a things missed thing if you didn't pay too much attention to little bits of information we've got up until now and what we see right here. So we've got a bunch of photos. You're now probably seeing them on screen and these posters are within Gotham and they're not only advertising the Red Hood, it literally looks like Red Hood is being celebrated by some of the people in Gotham, potentially in the Narrows area, these areas of Gotham. Granted that Titans did a stellar job of their Gotham where it all looks really filthy and dirty but as we know there are some areas in Gotham way worse than others where I feel like Red Hood has made a little bit of a name for himself and that is why we've got photos like Red Hood is rising like posters of his own kind of like propaganda if you will like people in support of him even like little messages in spray paint saying Red Hood please save us but where on the other side where you can contrast that for the Titans we've literally had this return Fuck Batman. But not from Robin himself, but it seems from some of the people of Gotham, or maybe the followers of the Red Hood. We've got it spray painted on cars and walls saying F Titans, F Batman, whereas there's a lot of Red Hood Rises posters in return in support of him. But not only that, not only is uh, are seemingly some followers of Red Hood or just some citizens of Gotham saying F Batman and F the Titans, there are wanted pictures from the Gotham City Police Department, and they, they're not just 
most wanted. They're wanted dead or alive. We all know what that means. Like, if they die, it doesn't matter as long as you've got them. That is how bad whatever has happened in this season up until this point with the Titans framed in the public eye into the GCPD, whatever's happened has caused them to a level of considered armed and dangerous and wanted dead or alive. Like, that, that is bad. So I think we can all assume, at least touching base here at number one, that they've been framed. You could put Red Hood into this. Maybe this is all a part of Red Hood's kind of grand plan. He doesn't only want to make Batman look bad, but he wants the Titans to look bad as well. But there are still so many more little facets that we need to get into because, yes, this is what the overall broad context seems to present us. But there's a few pieces of clues that we can still put together within these bigger clues that just make this even more complicated, if I'm being honest with you. So in these photos on screen, you can see Red Hood rules there. You can see the car saying F Batman, F the Titans, and you see these wanted posters. And notice as well, now this may be a situation, I've had a discussion even with Vullian just saying, like these could just be intended for background art and you might not see them so much in the frame or in a close-up, which I agree and disagree with. Let's point out the first thing that's kind of cool. In this wanted poster for Beast Boy, it says Beast Boy. It doesn't say Gar. As you know on Titans, the reason why this is kind of a big deal for some is just because, yes, the Titans, we have Hawk, Dove, Robin, Nightwing, all of that good stuff where they've actually got their names, but Beast Boy hasn't really had much of his comic book source material come to fruition in terms of identity. But on this GCPD Wanted Dead or Alive poster, hey, at least he's called Beast Beast Boy. But the other awkward thing about these wanted dead or alive posters, and, and this isn't necessarily awkward, it's just kind of a nitpick, if you will, and it just depends how we're going to see it in the episode, and I'll present that in a second, is because all of these posters for the wanted dead or alive, where you see Nightwing there, you see Corey, and you see Blackfire, and we'll get onto Blackfire in a second, you see Superboy. These are all very cinematic, like actual headshot photos, like promo photos for like season two. For example, Corey and Blackfire, you could argue argue there, the costume photo test stuff. Also of Crypto, just Crypto like there in, in the front of the camera has such immaculate photos of the members of the Titans in their Wanted Dead or Alive adverts and posters out there in Gotham City, where it's just like, how did you get these amazing photos of these vigilantes? They're so crisp. They, they couldn't even be bothered to like get some like blurry photos of a Nightwing or if like, you've seen this man. Do you see what I'm getting at there? If you look at them very closely, they are the typical promo character photos that they're using for wanted dead or alive pictures. And I just kind of find that a little bit funny. But that brings up the argument of what I was just saying a second ago where I've had discussions where these may be background world building kind of things where of course they are wanted in the main plot. I think we can definitely establish there is a plot for where for some reason Superboy, Corey, Blackfire, Crypto, Gar, and we'll get onto the missing ones in just a second, are wanted dead or alive in Gotham. But the reason why I still find the, the photos used a little bit awkward is just because um, I, I do believe we're going to see Gar or Connor maybe just run past one's like like rip it off the wall and just be like, look, look, it, it's us. What's going on? Something like that. It's just random off the top of my head uh, speculation there. But I expect a scene like that. And if it does show one of those photos, then it's a bit weird. But here we have Blackfire included amongst the Titans. Now, you may be thinking, but wait, why isn't she meant to be a villain or like uh, an antagonist to some extent this season? I still believe that's going to happen. It's just the way that she may be coming into this season and the story that we're presented may not be what various fans expected. For example, when Greg Walker said at DC Fandom, yeah, Blackfire's got to have a room in Wayne Manor. Lots of people thought he was joking. I'm not saying he's not joking, but the principle of what he's saying there may have indeed been true. And I have to admit, I kind of vibed that back then. I know that's easy, easy for me to say now, but I was thinking like, what if she doesn't come in guns blazing? There's more of a disagreement or just something or another that leads up to more of a combative state in the storyline between Corey and Blackfire. I know if some fans might not like that but the, the the interesting thing that adds more evidence to this speculation is on the concept art and the actual not even concept but like photo of Blackfire in her suit it says version at the bottom left and it says hero indicating that there are multiple versions this one happens to be the hero take of the costume but there is maybe a darker villain version as well but to add that into this evidence we have Blackfire literally photographed and placed in the group 
of the Titans. Like, in fact, there's a whole separate photo, or should I say poster, labeled Titans, where there's a group lineup of Nightwing, Superboy, Crypto the Superdog, Corey, and Gar, but also Blackfire is there as well. But another kind of awkward thing I find with this, unless they really give us an in-story episodic reason, as to if they did something public and there was photos taken of them, how did they get a picture of Blackfire? Like what? But regardless, I've said quite a bit there, but we have to remember, and I'd love for your speculation down in the comments below, what do you think of the fact that it says Hero on the version of that concept art, but also the fact that Blackfire is evidently wanted dead or alive along with the Titans and is even classified as being a part of the team in these pictures. As you can notice as well, along with each of these posters, you have quite literally coupled onto them and overlapped another poster with the Red Hood Rises posters. And I love the artwork there. It's reminiscent of the version that we've got in this season, obviously. The fact that they're like being posted on top of the Titans Wanted posters just makes me think, and it's kind of obvious that Red Hood has something to do with this. I think this could be a part of his larger objective in the first place. He wants to discredit the Titans. Maybe he feels like, and in this adaptation, his version of justice and vigilantism it is just better served his way, the Red Hood way. So when he's in Gotham, along with the Titans in Gotham, well, what's he got to do with the people he has nothing but disdain for at this current point in time? Well, I guess he's going to try and go out of his way to discredit them to the point of where they're wanted dead or alive. So they may be in a situation in an episode where they're just caught red-handed and it just looks very bad on the Titans. And this is where I want to bring in the fact that, don't forget though, we have the Titans, or should I say mainly Nightwing, the Titans leader, working with Barbara Gordon, who's the current commissioner in Gotham City right now. So is this going to put her in an awkward position? Because I've got a feeling that even though the Titans are wanted dead or alive here, I don't think she subscribed to this. It might be the situation of where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, Dick, but like, there's nothing I can do about this. I mean, I can tell you where to go where they're looking for you right now, but just go over here. You may be cool over there in that part of the city. It might be something like that where she can't really go out of her way because there might be something so dumbfounding and condemning that the Titans look like they did something quite bad that she needs to help them get out of it, but needs to do it behind the scenes rather than just her coming out as commissioner and saying, oh yeah, no, they did nothing wrong. And also if in that situation that I'm explaining, this hypothetical one where the Titans are framed, it might come out on the opposite side where Red Hood looks like the absolute hero. Now one thing we do need to bear in mind with all of this discussion we've had thus far in this video is that we cannot see Hawk and Dove as part of the Titans there but we know that they're, they're in this season. In fact there's a whole episode named I think Hank and Dove and the fact that episode 3 is titled Hank and Dove tells me that Hank is kind of moving forward without the Hawk persona but the episode being titled Hank and Dove means Dove is staying the vigilante out of the pair of them. And that kind of makes sense with last season as well, if you remember with how Dove kept going out, but Hank was, you know, getting annoyed about that. Now I am wondering if like what they're trying to do here in this new iteration of live action Red Hood, arguably, yeah, the first time Red Hood has been done in live action, maybe what we're getting the vibe of here, at least I am, that Titan's bad, Red Hood equals good. Not only that, the citizens of Gotham seem to be rallying behind Red Hood. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of Red Hood and the outlaws -y, like beginnings going on here. I'm not saying you're going to see like various characters necessarily join Jason Todd this season as Red Hood. I feel like most of the Titans are going to be trying against this mysterious person until they realize that it's actually Karen Walters is Jason Todd. And then you'll have one or two of the Titans members, maybe Dick Grayson himself, having a little shocked Pikachu face reaction there, if you know what I mean. But yeah, you never know. I can't rule out that one or two might go along with them. But I've got a feeling that Hawk and Dove are up to something else. And I, I, I don't know. I'd be surprised if we see like actual Titans members go to Jason Todd and it's going to be like a weird kind of civil war situation. I don't think so, but I think there will be a nod at Red Hood and the Outlaws in his own way of vigilantism uh, just through the people of Gotham rallying behind him through this really bad public perspective of the Titans versus that of Red Hood doing good for Gotham City. But before we get into the known episode names so far, I think that is all there is to say. Other than that, you know, I'm not going to waste time because there, it could really go in different avenues of what is going on here. This is also quite late into the season as well, showing that Red Hood will be in the latter part of the season as well. Whether the Blackfire conflict had already happened by this point and now she's with the Titans or whether that happens before she goes 
goes into the antagonist mode of this season. That is anyone's guess. And lastly, with this, there are other little videos and clips going around of seemingly people looting and whatnot. Overall, that just adds into my vibe of maybe Jason is leading his own gang, maybe of outlaws, but who are serving maybe a greater Robin Hood, kind of stealing from whatever, giving to like the people. I don't know there, but ultimately, I still think his narrative is going to be to like discredit the Titans and uprise his own self of justice, if that makes sense. But let's move on to the episode titles that we know so far, starting with episode one, Barbara Gordon, which I revealed freaking ages ago. But episode two, titled Red Hood. This episode may not actually be him putting on the Red Hood mask. Maybe that will happen in the final 10 frames. But I think this could be him actually dying or like their iteration of the crowbarring and then taking on the Red Hood persona. We're gonna have to wait and see there. Episode 3, titled Hank and Dove. Not Hawk and Dove, so yet again, my interpretation of that is Dove is the vigilante carrying on. Hank is more reserved and not really Hawk. We have Blackfire as episode 4. I think, you know, it's just obviously gonna be mainly centered around her. Episode 5, Lazarus. I don't want to get carried away. I really don't know what they're going to do with Lazarus. I don't know if that means there's Lazarus Pitt in this episode, whether that's got to do with Connor Leslie and Donna Troy, or whether that's, you know, Red Hood. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole too much because I think they'll do the iteration where the Joker fooled Batman or other people that Jason had died when in fact he actually didn't because that's been done before. Episode 6, Lady Vic is probably just going to be like, uh, hopefully setting up a villain of the Titans that they can combat with themselves, one of Nightwing's villains. Episode 7, 51%, I am not sure. <laughs> Episode 8, Home, maybe a new home is established for the Titans, Gotham. This is their playground now, maybe, or maybe they're going back home, or maybe it's just a certain character going home. Episode 9, Souls, who knows, and Episode 10, troubled water and we don't have episode 11 12 or 13 just yet but i'd love to know your own interpretations of that obviously some are quite ambiguous so i don't want to pull something out my ass that i really don't know if, if it's got anything to do with it but yeah that's the update today this video took longer than what i thought but hey i love talking about titans i can't wait to talk about it even more in the coming months because since it's very likely getting a july 15th ish release date you can be sure that the marketing will be ramping up slowly but surely in the next couple of months, definitely. Like we're gonna get a lot more promo material, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for a very in-detailed shot-by-shot trailer breakdown as of when that comes. You name it, I'll be covering anything uh, as of when it releases. So make sure you also like the video to show me that you're enjoying this content. Click the links in the top pinned comment to my Discord, my Twitter, and other places to follow me. Maybe even get a boba beanie hat. I'd really appreciate that uh, if, you, if, you, if you like it. And other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you Titans in the next video. Goodbye.